taxi! Sagittarius, this is your uh, monthly uh, general love and relationship uh, messages, uh, and it's going to be for the month of May 2020. Sagittarius, I hope all is well. I uh, hope you guys are staying safe, staying strong. Uh, <clears throat> this is a new month, new energy, and we are using, uh, as always, the Victorian Romantic Tarot deck to deliver your messages, and I'm also using Sandra Brown's a love oracle deck to complement your reading. Okay, so with that being said, the messages will be for, yes, yeah, Sag, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. All right, Sagittarius, messages for you for the month of May 2020, love and relationships. All cards should be in the upright position, Sagittarius. So, um... Interesting energies that have already come through for Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio as well. So let's see what the energy is going to be for you guys, potentially. These are just general readings, so it's not going to be information that uh, will be applied to everyone. So let's see what's coming up. The shadow card energy is energy that may play out, along with the rest of the cards that will be selected for you. And if it's a major arcana, it's definitely going to play out. So let's see. We're going to start off with the energy of the... Ooh, look at that there. All right. So we're starting off with the tower. So Virgo and Libra both received the tower and the three of swords. And I'm like, how ironic is that? That I've had two... Um, read for two signs and they had the tower and the three of swords. Well, so you got the tower. Now, as I was saying, um, and this is definitely energy that's going to play out. This, is, But don't think in terms of, yes, this is a card that creates upheaval, destruction. It's the type of energy, uh, Sagittarius, where you have no control over things. And so far, because of all of what we've been dealing with, and I'm not going to try to make this video, like I mentioned in Virgo and Libra's video about coronavirus or COVID-19. But think about it. The, the tower is showing up here for a reason. Three times it is showing up here. This whole pandemic has changed the way um, our life has been. It's, it's disrupted our normalcy. And this is the tower's energy, okay? It's causing all kinds of confusion, all kinds. People don't know when they're uh, going to be able to go back to work. People don't know when they're going to be able to, uh, you know, if you're in a relationship and it can be a situation where, you know, you don't want to, um, you know, be with your partner because of the uh, quarantine restrictions and whatnot. People are just going crazy, not necessarily crazy, but just sort of like losing a sense of themselves because they can't control what is happening to them where once before they didn't have to worry about that, you know, being uh, restricted to stay at home and, and not going to work and so forth. So you have to tie all of that energy in and how it may play or uh, a part in your relationships or how it is, is affecting your relationship. It's a it's a strong energy here, okay? So, but it's several layers that could be coming through for a lot of people and represent a lot of things. So, but whatever this tower is showing up here for you for uh, Sagittarius, this is what's coming through, and more than likely, it's going to play out along with the rest of the energies uh, that will be selected for you. So, your focus, however, for the thirty days or I think it's 30 days or the month of May. I should have just said the month of May is, um, well, here we go. This is part of your savings grace. I always say when another major arcana shows up here in the tower with the tower, then it sort of like diminishes that energy. So this is a card of, of course, a relationship card is growth and expansion. There could be new developments in the current relationship or a potential new relationship, something strengthening the doves at the, um, base of her feet is always a peace type of offering and so you can some of you can expect even though we have the towers the shadow this opens you up 
that you can just sort of like glide through the month of May. And, you know, along with your partnerships, uh, I forgot to mention this is for single and um, coupled Sagittarian, that you're on the same same page. You know, this, these doves represent peace, not only peace, but harmony. So think of that It's pregnancy news. It's also childbirth. So someone could be, um, you know, conceiving in the month of um, May. Someone could be uh, giving birth in the month of May. All things are possible, but just keep in mind that this is a very positive card to start your energies off with. That is your focus for the month. What is crossing that Empress card here, Sagittarius, is the Five of Swords. So just be careful here. Five of Swords with the three characters or the jesters or the clowns or whatever you want to call them. They always remind me of the Three of Swords. All right. So this is uh, interference or there's some sort of distraction. Uh, five is just, you know, um, potential energies. Mental conflict could be internal uh, conflict. So it could be conflicting energies and it may be based on that tower. You know, in terms of uh, your attachment to your relationship or some sort of, you know, decisions that you want to make, um, you know, about the relationship or what you have to do in terms of adjustment. Uh, so but whatever it is, it's representing your immediate. So there's for some of you making some sort of uh, decisions, not necessarily quick decisions, but making changes. Uh, compartmentalize what these stressors are, what they could be, and how it is based on you and your relationship, and then put them in their proper place. It's a five, just like the tens. It's potential energy to come. It's not going to be uh, a permanent situation or something that sticks around forever. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. Up next, we have, um, ooh, now we have one of the most positive cups to receive is the nine of cups. This is the wish card. So a wish is granted. This is the yes answer to any romantic question that you may have. Nine of cups is the emotional happiness, satisfaction, contentment, and joy for uh, those Sagittarians who may be in existing partnerships. It's also mirroring that three, well, not the three, but the Empress card, which is a three. And I had said to you that the base of her feet uh, represents dove. So that's peace and harmony within relationships. And then the validation comes through with the nine of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female represents this nine of cups. I also equate that nine of cups energies with that of the major arcana, the star card. Hopes, wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. The overall thing, uh, not only is it a yes answer to those romantic questions, but a wish is granted. And you have to place that um, information towards your relationship and love. A wish becomes granted. Or something comes in your favor. Following the Nine of Cups, uh, we have the, well, your energy, the Queen of Wands. So you're focused. This is a court card. So definitely it could be a new connection. Could be that you're, you know, very passionate. You know, this is carved. I always uh, mention sexual energy, sexual expression. Um, and we all know that <laughs> there's a lot of that going on there uh, right now in terms of the bedroom you know, bedroom action because people are just homebound and what else are they going to do with their time? Well, I'm quite sure there's other things. I'm just being a little bit sarcastic. So this is you uh, representing uh, Leo and Aries as well, but you're focused, okay? You're passionate about something. You're intent about something, something possibly heating up. It's all geared towards love and relationships, but whatever it means for you is coming through. There's a potential of a new relationship. Now, I always get an older feel with the queen, uh, king and queens. So it could be that there's a Sagittarian who, you know, not necessarily connect with another fire sign, but could be uh, engaging in a relationship with someone who is older. But they don't have to be, you know, terribly older. They could be just a year older. All right. Or it could be, um, well, it could be anything. I'm going to just leave it at that. Following the Queen of Wands here, now we have the Six of Pentacles. So if there's any types of, um, you know, uh, energy going on with partnerships where, you know, someone did something to you, then this is my apology. This is where you're going to receive an apology. It could be, you know, I'm sorry for what I said, what I've done, um, sort of type of energy. All right. Because the six is an even number. So it's the balancing uh, type of energy. The apology comes through. 
then the acceptance. So everything is even Steven. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, male or female. It's still called a generosity. Also, too, it represents security, stability, and long-term energy. So that could be just the attributes of what you may um, wish to aspire to achieve in terms of your current relationship or if it is a future potential relationship. You want a relationship that is long-lasting, that's going to foster security, and then, you know, you're stable. You don't have to worry about um, extrusions or anything else going on. All right. So following that, we have the hangman. Hangman Major Arcana. This is, a well, one of the neutral uh, Major Arcanas for me. But it's the card that comes through that always, uh, for me at least anyway, emphasizing that when it comes to your relationship, Sagittarius, give yourself more time uh, to think things through before you, you know, forge ahead. Whatever it is that you... Uh, need to take time for um, it's in the upright so I always get the evaluating time or more time is needed so link that to your relationships and however it might open up or potentially unfold for you okay so hangman after that we have the oh now we have the devil major arcana this is the card of restrictions this is the card of feeling bound this is my unrequited love card this is <clears throat> Definitely, uh, the devil always casts an illusion, just like the seven of cups, the moon. Uh, and so when it comes to your relationships or is someone addicted to a relationship, someone stuck on a relationship, someone who needs to release themselves from a relationship, um, all that comes into play. If there's drug, you know, um, drugs involved, it could be drinking, smoking, gambling. Uh, the devil, however, is to address bad habits and bad relationships. And how those bad habits and relationships are affecting you and or impacting your relationship. So it may not be that you are the one who is, you know, um, having to deal with some sort of drug or alcohol abuse or anything like that it might be your partner. But because of it, the situation is uh, impacting your relationship. Uh, when it comes to unrequited love, putting more energy into feelings for another person and you're not getting that reciprocity. Well, it could go both ways. That is uh, also what I'm picking up. Ruminating thoughts. Now, the rum ruminating thoughts in this case, however, would be that uh, scenario that I always give with the gerbil on the wheel is in your head. That's the thought process. So it could be that someone is overthinking or thinking too much about one particular person. Um, and it may be that you're in a stabilized relationship, but it could be that it could also be connected to the unrequited love that you're thinking about somebody way too much or way too long, longer than you need to. And that gerbil just don't want to kick off or that thought process don't want to leave you. Uh, so that's what I'm getting with that. But you want to break the bonds. You want to break the chains of what's holding you back. And also to to uh, address those uh, feelings uh, when it comes to those relationships, the, you know, the bad things, bad habits and so forth. Capricorn represents the devil card, uh, Taurus and Virgo as well. Following the major arcana, now we have the queen of swords. So this is a court card. This is uh, gaining clarity, clearing up any kind of confusion or uncertainties when it comes to your relationship. And then there is a whole bunch of determination based on uh, taking charge, making moves, making decisions as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius represents the Queen of Swords. Following the Queen of Swords, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So court cards are showing up here. This is a card of wealth. This is someone who could be um, wealthy, someone who works for themselves, someone who's very generous and uh, willing to share their accumulated wealth or resources with you. OK, again, this is could be just the attributes of the card, you know, that you're seeking, um, you know, the same thing that I had said about the six of pentacles, security, long term energies stability and so forth so we have two queens i get an older feel no we have three queens and we then have the nine of cups so that would you know all together um definitely signify a, a relationship or it could be just touching base on existing relationships that you're in partnerships with um earth fire and possibly water 
And these queens could be males as well. All right, so let's finish you off here, uh, Sagittarius. And not too bad. I like this energy for you guys. Now we have the Major Arcana, the World card. So you have uh, the Tower, you have the Hangman, you have the Devil, and then you have the World card. No, and the Imprints. One, two, three, four. You too have five Major Arcanas. Remember the focus, however, is that Imprints card. The theme for the month, something growing, something developing, um, something um, definitely uh, in the form of relationships, synchronicity, peace and harmony. Now we have the world card as the options. The only thing that you can say about the world card when it comes to uh, general love and relationships is that the options could be available and it's going out for those singles. It also could be because it's the world card and the world spins like the wheel of fortune. Opportunities abound or opportunities uh, continuously circling around you or there is a change of energy. Now, that could be attached to your relationship where something turns around in your favor. Wow. So you got uh, some very nice potentials here, Sagittarius. So let me get on to your um, love oracle messages here from Sandra Brown's deck. And these are just messages, Sagittarius. You can use them however you want. It is fine with me. OK. All right. So. First message we're going to start off with for you is the faith card. And it says here, give love a chance. All right. That could be a message. The next card or next message for you is uh, attention. You're attracting romance. I actually like that card. Okay, last card for you, Sagittarius. Um, this one here says express, and it says, now's a good time to speak how you feel. Okay, speak up. Let somebody know that you care about them, but if it is part of that devil's energy uh, and you already know, then that is not a message for you, okay? <laughs> That's just a message for someone else who, uh, you know, has feelings for someone and um, if the other person hasn't already, you know, shut them out or gave them no other signals that they might be interested in, then that's the potential of a chance of a connection. So express yourself and let that person know uh, how you feel. Sagittarius, whatever you choose to do um, in the month of May, uh, please do it safely. You know, I always encourage that. Uh, so stay positive, stay strong. We're going to get through this. And I'm sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again. Please enjoy. Bye.